Hi, welcome to another Onshape video tutorial. I want to show you how to use the loft tool in Onshape. So let's start with a sketch, maybe on this plane. I need a rectangle which is 25 by 5. Another one which is 20 by 10. A circle and the diameter of the circle should be 150. Another circle And this diameter should be 140. Okay. There should be tangency between this line and that circle. And this point should be coincident to that line. This point to that line. And this point should be on this circle. There should be a distance between this point and that line. Or, yeah, I, I will do it in a different way. Uh, maybe first I will trim. One, two, it's over constrained, of course. I just have to remove one of these dimensions. Okay, I will change this line to a construction line. Okay, I need another line for reference, which goes right there. And to make it fully constrained, just give this line a dimension, maybe 50. Doesn't really matter. And now I want to align the end point of that line and this line okay and there should be a distance between this line and that line which is 15 and confirm Okay, now I want to copy this sketch on different planes, therefore I need some more planes. I could do this line in a different sketch as well. So let's go for uh, another plane. This should be one with a line angle. And the line is this one. Okay, and the angle, let's start with 30 degrees, and I will see if it works out, because I can always change the definition of this plane. So just confirm, and I want to copy this sketch onto that plane. So go to the sketch, copy the sketch, and paste it into this one so that's not quite the direction I want the sketch to be so first I can 
edit the sketch and this point should be coincident to that one okay let's go to the plane one and maybe opposite direction take a look yeah that's okay confirm okay next plane again line angle and this could be let's try 30 and I need one I think 150 should do the trick we'll see Firm. and paste the same sketch into this plane well, looks nice so edit this sketch and again move this point onto that one yep confirm Okay, I need two more sketches on this plane. One will be in the direction in the right direction and the other one will be in the wrong direction. So just go to this plane and paste the sketch once again. Align two points once more yes and now I need another plane with an angle to that line and I suppose this should be 180 degree but it could be zero degree as well so let's try with zero degrees paste it right there nope first align these two points coincident confirm and now change the plane opposite direction look final no difference so I will go for 180 degrees yes okay very nice I could hide all planes and I want to change this sketch the first one and make this 10 and change the diameter to 240 confirm let's check how well the loft works so go for loft and just select the profiles in the correct order first one not this vertex but I need the sketch or not this one 
So that's the first one. Second one. Third. Fourth. And the fifth one. Looks very nice. This tool works very well, almost as in Inventor SolidWorks. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more on shape videos, please like it or give a comment down below. See you to the next one. Bye bye.